tonight on Hip on the Spot News. The C9 map is looking good in recent videos. Our Viper and Hornet are getting new toys. A module gets stuck in time with development. And we are getting close to the end of our Strike Eagle giveaway. This and more on How I Play. Hello Virtual Pilots, I am Andre Celesti and tonight we are going to take a look at the latest news in DCS world. So here we are very close to the end of January 2023, waiting for the first update to drop, if it didn't already by the time we publish this video. As always, there is no lack of news when it comes to our favorite flight sim platform. We got a Hornet video showcasing the changes coming to the Electronic Warfare page with the new ALR67 symbols and enhancements, plus a good tease of the C9 map. I watched the video three times and didn't get enough. Same for the Viper, with updates to its own new ALR65M radar warning receiver, the alternate landing gear handle, plus the animated tail hook. Speaking of which, let's explain it better for everyone to understand. First, no Viper carrier operations. That's not a thing, okay? ED wants to include the ground arrest systems for airfields later, but there are no current plans whatsoever. Testing it on the carrier can be done, but I really don't recommend it, though we're gonna try, and ED says, good luck. Well, I think we're gonna need it. Oh, and again, another teaser of the Sinai map, running with enabled multi-threading, but no DLSS. Matt Wagner, senior producer at Eagle Dynamics, forgot to enable it. Though, thinking about their systems, I can understand not needing the extra performance boost from it. Cheers for that! Moving on, the development of the GF-17 Thunder is nearing completion. The Chinese flight manual will receive updates very soon. She -she and the translation of the English manual is still in progress. In the meantime, completed cockpit textures will be available in the next update. Nice. Pylon and adapter textures in the exterior module have also been updated, and they are planning to finish the exterior module including more skins and livery templates and release them together with pylon textures by March 2023. Of course, they will continue to add and correct the GF-17 features once new information appear on the horizon. No news from Rasbam and the F-15E Strike Eagle, just waiting any moment for another video from them. Time is ticking and our giveaway is about to reach its final day of the month and we will announce the winner. Until so far, over 7000 users are participating, breaking records in unique comments and sharing the love for this future module. I think Rasbam should know this, the community is hyped and we share the same feeling. More information about our giveaway later in this video. In other news, a bit of sadness as Miltech 5 is shelving the B0105 helicopter project that they were working together with Rasbam. Yes, the project is on hold for an unknown amount of time. We really don't know for how long, but the project is frozen. Well, now they know. Let it. No, Petrovich, copyright stuff. I told you before. But you said frozen. I thought that's my cue to start. No. Uh, sorry. So, for those of you not knowing, Miltech 5 and Rasbam worked together from 2020 to develop the B0105 for DCS World. From my understanding, Miltech 5 worked on the art and animations, and Rasbam on coding. And it seems that Miltech 5 is basically one person. Maybe I am wrong. Let me know if that's the case. That person is Oli, also known as the Fragger. So yes, we know that the development process isn't easy. We can only imagine how it goes for one person. But recently we got a post by him saying that this project that was started from 2012. Okay, 2012 was back when the world was supposed to end. Similar with this year's, I can see a pattern but I digress. So since 2012 the project had a lot of ups and downs and now he finds himself with a lot of other projects being worked on and he came to the conclusion to set the DCS B0105 project on ice to an undefined time. He hoped for a long time that his project will see the light of day, as we did as well, we covered it back in the day. 
he will continue the BO behind closed doors and maybe someone is interested in finishing the project. Anybody? Well, that doesn't sound too good if you ask me, but hey, what can we do? And we got more clarifications in order to avoid speculations. The Miltech collaboration with Rasbam is still active. The coder has a new main job. And we should know that the long-lasting time had nothing to do with him or Rasbam. These are a chain of negative events over which both parties have no influence over. External factors, let's put it that way. It's sad when a model gets put on hold for an undefined amount of time. But these things happen. As bad as it is, they can happen. Then again, before you go down the comment section and type something very angry, remember not to shoot the messenger. We report everything here, we try to be as transparent and impartial as possible. We wish them well, as we do to all developers, and we hope they will be able to finalize their projects at some time in the future, as we know how important it is to deliver for this amazing community. Let's hope that in the future this particular project gets done, one way or another. But something that will still continue and wasn't stop, it's support from our sponsor. VR Rock is offering something we deem right for our community. Blue light protection and specialized prescription lenses for your VR headsets. Yes, you heard me right. It's a problem I encountered ever since I started using my VR headset. My friends who wear prescription glasses couldn't enjoy flying in DCS as my headset couldn't safely fit without taking the glasses off. VR Rock will manufacture the lenses according to the prescription information you provide, fitting most VR headsets currently on the market, and will ship it worldwide with the benefit of a tax-free policy. They also include non-prescription eye protection lenses. If you use our Hip Games discount code, you will receive 5% on any order and support our channel in the process. Link is in the video description. The Lunar New Year sale will last until the 29th of January with new bundles and massive discounts on EDI's shop and Steam. As most of you already know, in order to participate to our Strike Eagle giveaway, you need to be subscribed to our channel, like our videos that we publish from now on, comment on them and you will be included in the January giveaway selection that will take place by the end of the month. Once a winner is chosen, we will post the results and you will be messaged in order to ship the Strike Eagle module for DCS World, standalone or Steam, no problem. And speaking of Rasbam, we got a few pictures, once again, Rasbam at work. Last weekend we released our first podcast here on YouTube, the Hip Talk Show, where we discuss year 2023 in DCS World with some of our Hip community members. If you want to participate with your opinions in the next one, I link the requirements in the description down below. And our Rotor Hip Championship is back in action on the channel with the Apache and the Black Shark 3 taking their first attempt in a race packed with adrenaline and tight action. Make sure you check it out. And that's it, thank you all for watching, if you want to support the channel at your request we created a Patreon page with a few benefits for our subscribers. Remember to leave us a like if you find our video informative and subscribe to keep in touch with all the latest news on your favorite simulators and games. I am Andre Celesti, reminding you to fly safe and I'll see you next time.